Croxall Lakes Nature Reserve in Staffordshire. This former quarry is now full of bird life with plenty of opportunities for wildlife watchers to get close to the action. Opportunities everyone can enjoy. Hello there, very nice to see you too, David. And how are we, all right? Why is it a good location if you're a blue badge birder? Because we've, got, both the hides have got ramps, so consequently you've got wheelchair access. It's got a reasonable pathway, as you can see, for people in wheelchairs to uh, amble along. And uh, you've ju you just got everything, it's like, it's quite close. Brian didn't always have to think about this kind of thing. In a lifetime of bird watching, getting to where the birds were wasn't a problem. But when that began to change, he decided reduced mobility wouldn't stop him enjoying his hobby, and he might be able to help others in the same position. I ended up with the problems I've got, and had to have a hip replacement to what the devil had, and ended up with the blue badge. And then that suddenly hit me. You know, I thought, there's an angle here that uh, I haven't read of anybody attempting to get people out into the countryside who are disabled, inverted commas, and so that's where the idea was born, basically. This hide is designed with access in mind, but Brian says even if you can't leave your car, birdwatching is still an enjoyable hobby. Well, I suppose in many respects it hasn't really cut down uh, the range of species that I would normally see. It's just meant that I've got to go into areas and study them more than I would have done normally. I can't walk mountains to see golden eagles, so I haven't seen a golden eagle for a few years. But I've seen lots of marsh birds and wetland birds and things like that. If you think about it, a vehicle is actually perfect for bird watching. It's a mobile hide. But Brian's top tip is always wind down the windows before you get into place because that's the kind of noise that will frighten birds away. It's not meant to be a guide. I'm not trying to be clever and telling people how to identify birds. All I want to do is get people out there and look at the things and get the pleasure from it that I do. And in his first year of blue badge birding, Brian says he managed to see just as many species as he did before. <laughs>